What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring a little bell and find my video, I super duper appreciate it. Just saying, saying, saying. I got two messages in as I was meditating on daily these energies. Let me share those real quick. Hope everybody's doing okay today. For real, for real, for real. I do, I do, I do here. Um, the first message is, um, oh crap, I already forgot. Hold on. Uh, I hate when I hate when this happens. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, someone's about to start getting lots of help and um, unexpected good deeds coming to them soon. That was the first one. Someone's about to start getting lots of help and unexpected unexpected good deeds coming to them soon. That was the first one. And um, the second one is. Um, Oh my God, hold on, brain fart. Ah. Oh, energy shift, energy shift was the second one. So um, you take it out, resonates. That's all, that's all I heard on the second one. So the first one, someone's about to start getting um, lots of um, help and good deeds coming to them soon. So um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. You take it out, resonates. That's freaking a amazing. I don't feel the world has enough of that in it, to be honest. Um, I truly don't. I really, really don't. Um, so it's good to see that that's at least coming around for some folks. So you take it out, resonate. I heard lots of help and good deeds. So it's not lies. It's not manipulation. It don't sound like it, at least. Um, it's truly good deeds and... Um, you, they truly want to help. It's not, oh, I'll help you if blah, 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 blah. It don't sound like that. It just sounds like I truly want to help you. No strings attached. Period. That's what it sounds like. I mean, that's the way it should be. But, you know, some people are not like that. They attach it on. Oh, I want the fame. I want the notoriety. Oh, I want to be around you because of blah, blah, blah. And I get lots of fame and I'll be looked at and you know, or I'll help you if you do this for me, you know, that kind of thing. You take it out, resonates, but it didn't, it didn't sound like that in there. It sounded like the, whoever is about to start getting lots of help and, um, and I heard unexpected help and good deeds. So unexpected help and good deeds. Um, it's, it doesn't sound like there's no strings attached, but you take it out, resonates. And then energy shift was the second one. So there's going to be an energy shift in at least one of you guys' life or somebody you're connected to's life is what it sounds like. Uh, spirit messages you have for the collective. Now, energy shift could go, it's a shift in energy. You know, everybody emits energy. Um, I explain it on here all the time, but I'll say it again. Everybody emits energy. Um, you know, your person, everybody's person emits energy. The, the cat emits energy. I mean, that's just the truth. Um, but, and you either put good out in the universe or bad. And that's just the truth. Um, you take it out, resonates. But um, our energy shifts. So I'm thinking someone's energy, meaning their person, is going towards a person, place, or situation, or they're going away from it. So you're either cutting people out, or you're just cleaning up the people in your life that you want to be there, and focusing your time and attention on person, place, and things that you want to focus it on besides manipulation you being manipulated or try to manipulate somebody else is my assumption on this but you take it out resonate some kind of energy shift um that's all i heard so you take it out resonate spirit messages you have to like this so that could you know that could go positive or negative just saying just saying i didn't hear anything we got this one out again i got it yesterday Vigilance is basically keeping a watchful eye on person, place, or situation. Um, you take it how it resonates. It's the act of really keeping a watchful eye on person, place, or situation. You know, yesterday we had somebody basically standing up to a pedophile. I think they were about to call the police on um, a father that basically abuse, abuses their daughter um, yesterday's. Um, but you, you take it out resonates, but we got this out yesterday too, is what I'm trying to say. So vigilance is keeping, um, a watchful eye on person, place, or situation, kind of like watching your back, watching other people's backs, um, in a positive, healthy way. Um, in that case, yesterday's case, it was 
um, a father, I think, about to be reported to, um, well, I really don't say father because he's not really a father if he's abusing this child. And, and the one yesterday I was pulled in, he was. And apparently he'd been doing it for a minute. He'd been getting away with it and getting away with it. Um, and didn't think he was going to get caught. So I'm glad that that dude's about to get caught because he's not a real father. Real fathers don't abuse, or don't abuse anybody. Um, anybody, especially their own child. That person's just a coward, whoever that person is. I'm, I'm serious. And that person has control issues, apparently. Um, and needs some mental health help. And I'm serious about that. But um, anyways, vigilance is um, the act of really keeping a watchful eye on person, place, or situation. You take that resonates. A masculine energy is really about to become very, very, very protective of a feminine energy very soon. He has been in the past, but it's going to be more intensified very soon. His wanting and doing. Okay. That's what I heard. So you take that resonates. I heard a mask. And now this, these sound, these sound adults. Cause you know, if I pull in children, I hear children from spirit. So I'm thinking these are two adults. I just want to make that clear. But I heard, um, and we've been pulling in a masculine energy in the past month or so, I'd say. That has been very protective of a fem energy in um in here. Um, but it sounds like it I think it's that same masculine energy, but um you think how it resonates in your own life. But I heard he's about to become very, very protective. He's been protective of the fem energy in the past, so I do think it's that same masculine energy I've been pulling in the same month is what I'm trying to say. Um I'm sorry, I literally just got up. Literally. <laughs> you know, I worked tonight, it's my last night. For I'm off for a couple of days, but um, this is like bedhead, just for overall. But anyways, um, I heard uh, I do. I think it's the same masculine energy. So I'm trying to say the one I've been pulling in for about a month or so. But I heard um, he has been protective of this fame energy in the past, um, but he's going to become more protective of her soon. Um, and I do think it's two adults in here for overall. I do. Um, but it's like protective. It's either like, um, I heard it's because he wants to in here too. I heard it's because he wants to. It's not because he's being forced to or being made to or somebody's, you know, paying him to do it or he feels, um, feels like he has to, you know, because some, you know, sometimes you get in those situations. Oh God, I feel like I have to, you know, and I don't put myself in any of those kind of damn situations ever, ever these days. You live and you learn, baby, just saying. Um, but but that happens in life where you feel like you have to do it because of social pressure or peer pressure. Or, but no, I don't feel that in here. It's, I heard it's because he wants to, uh, basically. He wants to. He wants to. Um, I heard it's going to be more intensified. Um, and he wants to do it. So it's more intensified because of the feelings of him wanting to do it, not peer pressure or social pressure saying oh god you need to go help her or you need to go blah 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 you know whether it's a person in his family a friend a past co-worker a past classmate college mate you take it out resonates it's not that it's not people peer pressuring this masculine energy to be around this feminine energy it's him really him putting himself in the situation because he wants to be there kind of thing which is good i mean i'm just saying because Peer pressure, social pressure really always turn out. Just, just saying. That's why I don't ever get involved with that shit. Um, but yeah, I heard it's going to become intensified. You know, he's, I heard he's protected her in the past or he's kept a watchful eye on her in the past. Maybe he's just kind of looked out for her uh, from time to time or, you know, kept up, made sure she was okay because he wanted to, you know, and that was in the past as well. But I heard, but it's about to become intensified. Um, and um, so he's putting himself there. So I'm trying to say he's keeping a, a watchful eye vigilance. He's keeping a watchful eye over this fem energy. And I heard it's about to become very, very, very more intense spot. So, but he is putting himself there willingly um, because he wants to be there, which is really um, every situation should always be that way. Just for a but we all know 
sometimes things life gets fucked up in this not that way but for whoever this resonates with if this is you masculine energy or somebody you're connected to you want to be there so you take it how it resonates and i mean that's good i'm just saying bro, bro. i hope everybody's doing okay <laughs> just saying While I'm shuffling out, I'm just going to say, you know, I got bedhead going on. I really need to actually go brush my hair. It looks really like string freaking cheese. Yeah, it is real bad. I need to go brush it. Um, but I made me a burger because, you know, on the weekends that I work, my kids aren't here. They're at the grandparents. And their dad's actually down this weekend. Um, so he's over there with them this weekend um, at the grandparents. Spirit messages she has like this. Um, so, but... It's just me here. So, you know, I don't, you know, I made me a burger out of some ground beef I bought this week in the pack. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, and, um, you know, went there, made me a little burger and got it done five or six minutes, medium rare, just the way I like it. Just saying, with lots of Creole seasoning. It was so friggin' wonderful. It was pretty grand. I mean, it's the little things. I'm just saying. <laughs> there really is. Spirit messages you have. So here's what I'm thinking. Since I'm just running my mouth um, while we're getting these cards out. There's a masculine energy in here about to really become super more protective over feminine energy. Um, but it's because, like I said, obviously, it's very clear that he wants to be there. So in some type of way. So he wants to be in this feminine energy's life. It's not somebody peer pressuring him or forcing him to be there for her. Whether it's a, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a past partner, a current partner, you take it out, resonates. Um, but it's because he wants to be there, which is, like I said, great. But um, I was going to say, oh, I was going to say the spirit message is about... Um, um, the good deeds, unexpected good deeds coming. Um, from many unexpected places. I wonder if he has a part in that. I wonder if that same energy, um, you know, in just one situation, of course, you take it however resonates in your own life. But I wonder if he's about to do some really good deeds for this fam energy. Maybe as you know, like he wants to be a part of her life, really wants to be there and protect her in some type of way. Now, whatever he's protecting her from, that could resonate in a million different ways from a million different people um, as well. But I wonder if he's going to come in in her life because i've heard he's protected her before but it's been kind of like in the shadows away but it sounds like he's gonna move in like in the 3d is what i'm trying to say and really be around her like in the 3d now is what it sounds like you take it out resonates um but i wonder if he's gonna come in and you know because he wants to be there and and chill and hang out with her and um protect her um by doing good deeds for her is what i'm trying to say I wonder, just saying. Inquiry minds want to know. Just saying. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing these videos, I'd appreciate it. Oh, shit. Well, holy crap. I heard get another one. Jesus. Spirit messages you have this like this. Really use very good discernment with people trying to come back for some. Very important. Okay, I just heard really uh, use good discernment when, with people trying to come back with some of you guys. Uh, very important. So apparently somebody needs to hear that. Um, apparently there's going to be several people trying to come back in several people's lives. We've got a masculine and feminine coming in strong in here, but you take the messages that resonate. So if that one doesn't resonate with you... Uh, I heard apparently somebody's about to start getting a lot of people trying to come back into their life and you need to use very good discernment. So, um, you know, your people picker needs to be on point, basically. Um, your vibe picker, just saying, um, for somebody out there. Spirit messages, you have to like this. And if you went and share the videos, I'd appreciate it. Just saying. My 
my goal is to do this full time one day. I'm so serious. I would love that. Quit everyday world life. Or I wouldn't quit. I'd probably just go down part time and then do this full time. I would love to do this full time forever. Okay. Love begins. A particular person is going to try to come back into someone's life posing of wanting a commitment. Beware. However, there is a real person really wanting to be there for you, not this person. Choose wisely. Okay. Well, shit. Okay. You take how it resonates. So we have the Love Against card. I heard there, apparently, somebody out there is, I mean, I think there's several different situations going on here, but you take it how it resonates. But for one of you guys, there's somebody about to come back. I heard, I think it's a past lover or a past partner. You take it how it resonates. But I heard they basically are going to come back very deceptively. And they're going to um, say they want a commitment with you. And I heard basically uh, beware. Spirit warning beware. So they're going to deceive you. They're going to lie and deceive and say they want a commitment. That is definitely not the case. Is what I just heard. That's definitely not the case. So I think it's a past lover or past partner. Um, I heard from spirit warning. It is not the case. So they're going to lie. And they're going to deceive you and say they want a commitment. But it's not the case. And for some, it is a person of the past that has done horrible things to you. You have never been with this person romantically. You will feel it when you're around them. Oh, geez. Okay. And for some of you guys, it's the person trying to come back in line to see you. Um, I heard you've never been with this person romantically. You've never been with them romantically. Never been... Um, dated them been with them romantically but they've done something horrible to you in the past so they're just straight up evil i mean i don't know how this person was a part of your life but apparently they were but you never dated them you never dated them and you never um, were married them or dated to them dated them never in a relationship with them but they've done something horrible to you but they're going to try to lie and deceive you and do something horrible to you again apparently um but i've heard spirit warning on that beware too so there's two different situations in there so you've got love begins deception envy and temptation those are for the negative side. But then I heard positively there's a situation where there really is a real person in here. A real, real person that really wants to come back into your life. And they really want to be there. I think that's the masculine energy with the protective energy of a femme energy. Um, but you take it out resonates. Um, just saying. But he, this person really wants to be a real, pers a real part of your life. Um, a really really wants to be there genuine and real um i don't think that you've ever been I, well i don't know if you've ever been with this person or not i don't know about the real person on um, the real real person um but i heard basically spirit message use your best discernment so use your best discernment use your person picker use your vibe picker use your best discernment on these folks and i think obviously these are folks in your personal life not your professional life um just saying just saying um but there's a real one. There's a real one. I think that's the person that's really, for some, I think it's the protection energy. For some, I do. And I think for some of these, you guys, that person's going to come back, the pers the real person, genuine person, and come back as a real, obviously, real genuine person because that's our intentions. But they're going to come back, I think, and help you and, like, truly help you, like soulmate energy. And I've been pulling in soulmate energy um, recently. Like maybe help you around with things around the house or maybe help fix things or, um, you know, hang out and have dinner with you. And, you know, and then maybe you've got some weeds that need to be weeded in the front yard and help you do that. I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, that sounds kind of humdrum, but I mean, I'm serious. I, I think that's how it might start out for the real person. But you take it out resonates. But we've got a, a sneaky sneakerson devil energy up in here that... Is gonna, I think, as a former lover, 
Well, I heard in here for some is a former lover. Some is a former lover and former partner. And they're going to come back basically spouting um, commitment. They want a commitment. And for some, it's somebody you've never been with, but they have done dirty, nasty things to you in the past. And buddy, that they have nothing but good intentions for you coming back. So basically use your best people picker and vibe, vibe space picker here. And, um, you know, because they're going to try to tempt you. The person... Um, Sliding down the devil pole, about to lap dance on the devil. Just saying, um, they they are gonna tempt you. I mean, it's gonna to me. I equate that to like little Nas X and his stilettos pouncing down the freaking um, um, stripper pole, um, lap dancing the devil, and then cracks uh, breaks his neck to steal his energy. Just saying, just saying. That shit ain't nothing to be playing around with. I mean, little and all the sex, he's a sneaky little shit. I'm just saying. Light. Lots will have very good discernment in these people. Okay, I heard lots will have very good discernment in these people. So a lot of you guys will have very good discernment in your pickle. Pickle picker. Pickle picker is what I said. I meant people picker. Oh, Jesus. Pickle picker. Say that ten times, five times fast. My God, pickle picker. I meant people picker. Um, that you're going to have the light. You're going to be shown the way. Um, so this is light side. Discernment. You're going to be shown the way as far as your pick, people picker. Just saying. <laughs> Um, and that's awesome. Um, I heard a lot of you guys will have very good discernment on this. So, you know, you're going to have like a little Nas X strolling in on the freaking, um, um, stripper pole, wanting to lap dance you and peruse you and then break your motherfucking neck. Um, but you are going to be in the light and you ain't going to have that BS. Just saying, just saying. Nah, bitch, I'm good. You can go lap dance somebody else and break somebody else's neck. Just saying. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. Many positive series of chain events is going to occur between the protective adult energies. Okay. I heard many series of positive or chain of many positive series chain events is going to occur between the two adult energies. So I think it's that masculine and fem that's about to be a part of each other's life because the masculine really wants to protect the fem. Um, I heard many positive series of chain of events is going to occur in that situation. Um, so that's great. So I'm thinking for that one, there might be feelings of love coming come up in that. Um, the more these people hang out. I mean, I just for real. I don't think it'll start out at the beginning or it might. Maybe um, he already has feelings of love for her possibly. And he just doesn't think it's the right time right now. And maybe her feelings will grow um, as they're around each other. That's what I'm thinking. Because uh, that's sometimes how it, real shit, real, real shit, that's usually how it begins. And that's just the real, the truth real, real. Um, I mean, I'm serious. So um, I didn't hear that, but that's just my contemplative thoughts on that. All right. Oh, and by the way, I'm pulling in 111 again. So if somebody needs to Google angel number 111, just let you know, I've got 115719. So 111, let me show you. All right, you guys, love you guys. I'm getting off of here. Got to go to work in about an hour. Everybody make good choices. Namaste.